Hello beautiful people! Today I want to kind of narrow down everything I've mentioned on my channel about my recovery and give you guys my five biggest tips for eating disorder recovery. These are going to be the five biggest things that have helped me the most throughout my whole entire recovery and I feel like overall my recovery has been really uphill. I mean of course I have days where I am just freaking out, I'm upset about the weight gain and I am feeling sad without my eating disorder, if you know what I mean. But for the most part, I have done really well and these are the five things that have helped me keep going, fighting hard, and just finding myself. For me, loving myself and recovering from an eating disorder have gone hand in hand. As I am recovering from my eating disorder, I am learning to love myself again and really realizing who I am. I feel like when you develop an eating disorder, you lose yourself. You're no longer who you were before. You are who you are with an eating disorder. So autumn with an eating disorder is not autumn. I am really finding myself again and finding out what I like to do and just what makes me happy. So my first tip is find what you like to do. What are you passionate about? Do you love to bake or do you like to sing or draw? For me, I love fashion and I lost that part of me. So I like to get on my Depop and to sell clothes and I actually made my own shirts, my shine shirts, and they have a little logo that I designed myself. And yeah, this is something I love. I love fashion. I also love writing and baking. So I've been working on my blog more and putting a lot of energy into writing poems and creating recipes and just expressing myself that way. And of course, I love doing YouTube and connecting with you guys. So that has been a huge thing for me. It's just finding things I love to do, things I forgot about during my eating disorder. My second tip is to filter your social media. Who do you follow on your Instagram page and how do you feel about yourself when you see their posts? I actually started a new Instagram. If you didn't know, I used to model. Um, during my eating disorder and when I decided I was going to recover from my eating disorder I made a totally new Instagram and follow people that help up uplift me that make me want to keep going in my recovery so if you follow the Victoria's Secret Angels um, and you're trying to recover from an eating disorder unfollow them don't follow pages that make you feel triggered that make you hate yourself only follow people that make you want to love yourself people that share a positive message people that inspire you to be yourself number three is make a list of things you want to do because when you make a list of things you actually want to do in your life like for me I want to travel, I want to move out on my own, I want to have like-minded friends, get better at yoga, learn tarot cards better, work more on my blog, paint more, write more, be outside more, enjoy every single day. And if you notice, all of these things I wrote down had nothing to do with my physical appearance. And that's what you have to realize. Your life does not revolve around how you look. And when you dissect it and when you really list out the things that are going to make you happy, the goals you have, the things you want to do with your life, you will realize that you don't need to look a certain way to do any of those things. And the body you are given will not affect the quality of your life at all. And when you take yourself outside of that and you realize, hey, the only thing I need to accomplish my goals is to work for them, to be happy, to love myself. And your eating disorder does nothing but hinder all of those things from happening. So make a list of what you want to do and you will realize that you can do it exactly how you are, that you don't need to change yourself to reach your goals, to do the things that make you happy. This brings me to my fourth tip and that is find something to believe in. Find things outside of yourself. This kind of goes along with finding things you like to do, but for me, I found things that I could put my faith in. I found veganism, for instance, and for me, veganism was amazing because I realized about the effects the animal industry has on the planet and how the animals are treated and tortured and I knew that there was things outside of myself that were more important. Like the way I look is not as important as the way other beings are being treated. I also learned about 
the fashion industry and the effects it has on our world and other humans that actually make clothes and I educated myself on that and now I only buy second hand and I am a part of a Facebook group that helps spread awareness about the fashion industry and I try my best to implicate ethical things into my life. I also work on my spirituality. I am not religious per se, but I do believe in the law of attraction and I believe in energy and I believe in being a good person and treating others the way you want to be treated and I like to study Buddhism and Hinduism and Christianity and all religions and I like to be full of love and when you find things to believe in, it helps you realize that your outer appearance and just your eating disorder is so insignificant compared to where you want to be and the person you want to be. And my fifth tip is to be kind to yourself and treat yourself how you would treat someone you love. Even if you don't love yourself yet, treat yourself like you do. Fake it till you make it. And this means that you should rest when your body needs rest. If you have been working out super hard, you know you've been over exercising, take time to let your body heal. Do things you would do and recommend other people should do. Eat foods that are good for you because that's what you would do if you loved yourself, but have a balance. Eat treats when you crave them, especially recovering from an eating disorder. You need to allow yourself to eat and eat until you are satisfied. I have a video about this that I will link down below and I highly recommend you guys start a self-love journal. I also made a video about this that I will link down below, but tell yourself you love yourself every single day. Do yoga, move your body slightly, you know, go for walks, get outside. Surround yourself with positive energy, clean your space. Wear clothes that fit you. If you like to get ready, get ready, do your makeup sometimes. Only let yourself take in positive energy, treat yourself with love and respect and that will ripple to every single part of your life. When you love yourself and you treat yourself like you love yourself, even if you don't love yourself yet, even if you hate who you are, if you start treating yourself with respect, start treating yourself how you want to feel, how you want to be treated, you will see a difference, I promise. These are my five biggest tips for eating disorder recovery. These have all helped me so much, more than I can explain to you guys. I really think that the hardest part about an eating disorder and recovering from one is the mental aspect. And all five of these things will help you immensely mentally. Let me know if you were gonna implicate any of these into your life and if you already do any of these. I would love to know what you guys think about this video. And thank you so much for supporting my channel and being here with me on my journey and letting me be a part of yours. I love you so much.